All right, so I got another video for you today. I am up in southeastern New York State, headed to the Catskill Mountains. According to Wikipedia, they're actually a glaciated plateau. Uh, I looked that up last night. Anyway, so um, we're headed up to the Catskill Mountains. Specifically, we're gonna be staying in Roscoe, New York, AKA Trout Town, USA. We're gonna try to hit all of the uh, you know legendary streams in this area, including the East Branch of the Delaware River, the Beaverkill River, and the Willow Emoc River. I hope I uh, pronounced that last one correctly. Anyway, so um, it's a little bit later in the day. It's about 2 p.m. Uh, I didn't get up here early because there was like a 20 degree temperature swing from yesterday to today. The highs up here yesterday were in like the mid 70s. Today the highs are in the low 50s. And on top of that, I don't know if the GoPro is doing it justice, but the wind is blowing legit at like 15, 20 miles per hour. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be able to fly fish today. Anyways, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful mountains up here. Fall foliage is just starting to pop. Today, before we head to Roscoe, where we're uh, staying for a uh, short little weekend, we are gonna try to fish the east branch of the Delaware River, which you can actually see uh, right here on my right. So this is pretty big water uh, for the Northeast. Um, it's a tailwater fishery, meaning there's uh, cold water from a reservoir um, that keeps this a, a pretty much, aside from the lower sections, a year round uh, wild trout fishery. Speaking of wild trout, I'm pretty sure it has wild brown trout, also wild rainbow trout and there should be some uh, stockers in the mix as well. So um, there's like an upper section, which is more Spring Creek-like and sort of slow and meandering, and then a lower section where the Beaver Kill River dumps in that's more like a traditional tailwater and or freestone stream. So we're gonna try to hit a little bit of both. We do only have a couple hours. Um, you know, it's starting to get darker earlier as uh, fall, really fall began just a couple days ago. So anyways, let me get out here to the uh, east branch of the Delaware River in southeastern New York State in and around the Catskill Mountains Glaciated Plateau. So anyways, yeah, let me get out here, uh, rig up, and we'll see what happens. There's these really great uh, east branch Delaware River fishing access sites. We are essentially right above where the Beaverkill River uh, dumps into the east branch. Uh, supposedly this is, you know, a little bit slower, a little more meandering, uh, not a lot of riffles and stuff, but we're essentially just gonna kind of run and gun for the few hours we have to fish. We're gonna kind of run and gun. Um, and yeah, this essentially looks like a little side channel. That's great. Did decide to grab my spinning reel and rod um, before you crucify me. Uh, the next couple days, um, Saturday and Sunday, today's Friday, uh, I do plan to fly fish the Beaverkill and the Willow Emoc uh, rivers. It's just, it's just too windy today and this river is too big. I don't wanna really waste a lot of time. I only have a couple hours to fish. So we really wanna to try to get on some fish quickly. And I think with my uh, single barbless hook trout spinners, that's gonna be a lot easier. So um, I'm still not out to the main section of the river yet. It's kind of this little side john. So let me try to find the main river and uh, we'll start fishing up. Ooh, so I think we just got a rainbow really early on, like first couple casts. Again, we're throwing single barbless hooks super ethically. Yeah, that's a that's a bow. And I don't know if they stock rainbows or if these are all wild rainbows. I'm really not sure. But that was a quick strike. That's what we call my buddy Poe. Oh, shout out to Poe. And we got him. All right. So again, I don't know if that's a stalker. Part of me feels like that's a freaking wild rainbow trout. So let's get the hook at him. Oh, the hook popped right at him. Look at that. Look at that. Single barbless hook. So let's take a look at this guy. Pretty sure... This uh, could be a wild guy, so let's get him out of here. All right, so we just got this beautiful, what I'm assuming is, a, from what everything I've read, this is a wild rainbow. Um, probably about 12, 13 inches, pretty healthy looking. Let's get him right out of here. Oh, hold on, bud. oh, and he's out of here. All right, well, terrible release, but you saw him, I caught him. So we just got that first rainbow pretty early on, um, fishing this little side section of the east branch of the Delaware River. Very promising start. All right, so we've been fishing for the past probably about hour, hour and a half after catching that uh, first wild rainbow. And aside from getting a couple bites, really haven't had a ton of uh, luck. Um, I did get out to this kind of like almost Spring Creek section, uh, a very little, you know, side area of the East Branch. And I did start to see fish rising. I don't know if they're going after like wet flies or whatever, but I did grab my fly rod because nothing else is working. Um, we're gonna see if we can get a taker. It's still incredibly windy, so I'm probably gonna regret this after my first 
couple of wind knots. But uh, yeah, there is a little hatch going on. Teeny, teeny, tiny flies. Like, I picked one up and looked at it. It looked like a little caddis maybe or a BWO. I, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's what we're gonna try. Just got a fish, of course I missed it. Little guy, very little. Not sure what it is. Looks like a trout. Oh, that's a trout. Oh, that's a nice little wild brown. All right, so got a nice little wild brown on the east branch of the Delaware River hit a small tan caddis, teeny tiny. I mean, we're talking like size 20. That's great. So let's get the hook at him and take a look at it. So we just got a nice feisty, feisty little wild brown here. Beautiful colors, beautiful colors on this fish. Probably about four or five inches, nothing crazy. Get him out of here. Awesome. All right, so although my caddis got one fish, uh, it wasn't really working that well, so I did switch up quick to something that... Oh, got him. First cast. Yeah, so I switched to something that I think they like a little more. So that's great. What do we got here, boys? I think that's another wild brown. And I caught it on camera. Yeah, so I had to switch up from the uh, caddis. They weren't really liking that too much. Oh! Oh, let's get him in the net! Got him. Alright, so that's a nice little wild brown. We'll certainly take it, so let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. All right, so another another nice, probably this is a little bit bigger than the last one, probably about five inches or so. Nice little wild brown. Let's get him right out of here. He hit this, um, I'm not going to pretend like I know what it is, but little green fly. So that's good to know. Hopefully it'll continue to work. I guess we'll see. So we got those two little wild browns. The fish activity is slow, but it's still going. Oh, got him. Got him. I keep having to switch what I'm throwing because they'll hit it once and then they won't hit it for like 10 minutes. So I just switched to something else. I think like an Adams or something? I don't really know. Let's get this guy over here. What do we got? Not even going to net him. We're not even going to net this guy. Going to wet our hands. Hands are sopping wet. Water's freezing cold. Nice little wild brown. Nice little wild brown. Let's get him out of here. All right, so we just got our third. Third wild brown. They are, uh, Really eating, eating good out here. Um, I really haven't moved more than 10 or 15 feet up from where I started. There's just so many of them in this little, uh, this little section. I don't see a ton rising ahead of me though. So I'm not sure really where, where the next move is. I guess let's see if there's anything lurking up here. Very Spring Creek-like in this section. A lot of uh, aquatic vegetation and slow meandering water. Very Spring Creek-like. Got him. Got him. Sick. Ooh, he's fighting. He's fighting. Got him on a dry. All browns in here. Wild browns. We love wild browns. Oh, got him. All right, let's get the hook at him. Take a look at him. Sick. All right, so we're gonna get this little guy out of here. They're all pretty cookie cutter, you know, five, six inches. Nice wild brown. East Branch, Delaware River. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Sorry, I missed it. Just got another one. Man, we are really lighting them up here in this little uh, meadow section or whatever this is. Such a weird little stretch of the Delaware. It's literally like being on a, a spring creek, truly. So we're not going to net this guy. Wetting our hands. Hands are sopping wet. Soaking wet. Oh, 
Let's get the hook right out of him. Oh, and he's out of here. We touched him. It counts. Sorry you didn't get to see it. I think that's like number five or six, man. We are really cleaning up. Little guy. Little guy. I'm trying to catch all these on. GoPro, it's it's tough. It's it's tough for me. Let's get this one on the net. Oh, got him. All right, let's get the hook at him. Take a look at him. Another cookie cutter, albeit beautiful, wild brown. They are really thriving in here. Beautiful colors, absolutely beautiful. This is probably the nicest colors of the day. Absolutely nice. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Oh, we got another one, jeez. I couldn't even tell. He's fighting. He's fighting pretty good. He's fighting pretty good. Oh. Not bad. Let's get him over here. Let's get him over here. Man, these wild browns are so feisty. Wet my hands. Beautiful fish, adipose fin, real nice, real nice. Let's get him right out of here. Hold on, bud, we'll get you out of here. See you later, bud. Magical, couple hundred yard stretch. Uh, I actually just caught a small wild rainbow as well, but my GoPro died, so I had to put in a new battery and let him go. I just let him go. Um, I think we're probably gonna stop fishing in the next like 15 minutes. There's a nice flat section out here. I'm gonna see if any fish are rising. If not, we're gonna call it a day. We're just gonna call it a day. So that was pretty much all we had on the east branch of the Delaware River. As you can see, it was starting to get dark, starting to get cold. I had a hole in my waders, which was pretty awful. Anyways, we really just barely scratched the surface on this uh, tailwater fishery. Um, really, you need a, a, a drift boat to um, adequately fish this stream, but there were a couple uh, nice areas to wade. Anyway, so that's all we had for this evening. Um, the next day, my plan was to fly fish exclusively the Beaver Kill River, you know, one of the most famous streams in the northeastern United States. Um, and we found this really nice section. Uh, it's like a public campground. The upper reaches are mostly private, but we did find some public water. Nobody around was really excited. Um, but unfortunately, I got skunked. The only action I had pretty much all day after fly fishing for six plus hours is uh, what you're about to see. So uh, take a look got my first fish he's pretty good dude uh he hit a rubber leg nymphy thing um he's got me pinned over in this corner pocket he feels pretty good dude i thought it would only be little guys in here but this feels pretty good this might be a rainbow maybe i don't know i've just been switching up nymphs left and right uh really hope we don't lose this guy that'd be that'd be pretty awful right Still haven't gotten a good look at him. It's pulling pretty hard though. I think it's a good fish. I like, can't really move him. Ooh, nice wild rainbow. Holy cannoli. Stromboli. That was pretty lame, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, he's running. Oh. Oh, dude. Dude, this is this is pretty cool. I'm trying to just walk him over here. Nice. Real nice and easy like. Don't worry, bro. We're throwing you back. We're throwing you back, my bro. Dude, that's a nice wild rainbow. I don't know if they stock rainbows in here. But, yeah, that's a sick rainbow, dude. I don't want to tire him out too much. He smacked that rubber leg nymph thing. Which is great. That's, that's what you want. All right, buddy. Come here. Come on, bro. Hold on. Dude, I really don't want to lose this fish. And we lost him. Son of a bitch. Yeah, so unfortunately, that was all we had on the beaver kill after an entire day of fly fishing. We did try some of the um, more readily accessible public areas in and around uh, Roscoe, New York. There's a ton of public access, although the middle and upper stretches of the beaver kill are private. A lot of the public access areas were just super, super crowded, like five, six, seven fishermen at each uh, you know, um, stretch of good water. So really didn't happen for me there. But on our very last day, uh, we did go to sort of the sister stream of the beaver kill, which is the Willow Emok. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, it's another, you know, famous um, freestone stream. It's got wild trout. It's got stock trout. Um, I actually liked it uh, quite a bit. So here's what I got really just in like an hour or two on the Willow Emok before I headed home. Let's see it.
Dude, I don't know what it is, but I just cannot get dialed in on what nymphs these fish want. I know the Catskills are all about dry fly fishing, like, you know, April, May, June, and really like early September also, but not a lot of surface activity on the beaver kill yesterday or today on the willow emoc. I haven't seen a single fish rise yesterday or today. And dude, I've been trying just like everything. Um, you know, pheasant tails, prince nymphs, woolly buggers, uh, hare's ear, zebra midge, uh, you know, rubber leggers, just a little bit of everything. And I'm just not able to get dialed in here. I think the 20 degree temperature swing that happened certainly doesn't help, but uh, we're not gonna blame it on that, certainly. Bald eagle. That's like the fifth time I've seen a bald eagle since I've been up here in the Catskills for this weekend. That's pretty sick. Real sick. Oh, I just had my first fish of the day. Uh, probably like a nine inch wild brown. He smacked the hairs here. And he popped off. It's been just one of those, one of those days. Damn, dude, that's so beat. All right, well, at least we know they'll hit the hairs here. Um, that fish is totally not gonna hit again. But they did bite the hairs here, so that's that's encouraging. I am slowly running out of time uh, to fish before it rains. I really wish it wasn't gonna rain today. All right, so we finally got a fish. Took a really, really long time, like all morning. We did get one. Try to get him over here. Probably gonna lose him. Probably gonna lose him. Feels like a nice medium sized fish, nothing crazy. What is that? I think that's a brownie. I think that's a brownie. See if we can get him in the net here. Oh, got him. All right, so that looks like a nice, probably eight or nine inch wild brown. So let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. It's literally about to pour. So we just got a pretty nice, uh, you know, eight, nine inch wild brown, beautiful colors. Absolutely beautiful colors. We're gonna get them right out of here. Real nice fish. All right, so we're gonna get them right out of here. Nice wild brown, real nice, really nice. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. All right, so it finally started raining. Uh, we only got that one fish for a couple hours of uh, fly fishing. Um, I don't think the rain's gonna subside anytime soon, so I may try to hit like one more spot, maybe. Rain, um, it's kind of sparse, it's not actually that bad, so I came upstream about, um, I don't know, five or six miles. The stream's a little bit smaller in here. Um, we're gonna try fishing, maybe just for like a half an hour, nothing crazy, uh, and just see if we can catch one or two more. Um, it is gonna start thunderstorming at some point uh, today, so we definitely wanna be done by the time that would happen. Oh my gosh, just got a nice fish. Slinging this um, hairs here, they're liking the hairs here. I think this is a nice fish too, dude. Nice uh, brown, it looks like. Ooh, oh boy. Hopefully I land him. Oh, that's a nice one, dang! Hopefully I can land this guy. He smacked the hairs here. Yeah, dude, that's a nice brown. Missed him, son of a gun. Oh, got him. Oh, son of a gun, dude, that is a tank. All right, so we just got a real sick wild brown. Uh, maybe a stalker, who knows? But uh, yeah, let's get the hook at him, take a look at him, probably a stalker, that's a giant stalker. So let's get the hook at him, take a look at him, get him out of here, sick. All right, so we got an absolute tank. Pretty sure this is a uh, stalker, but he is very large. Got some nice nice reds in the back. Definitely a stalker, probably a holdover. So we're gonna get him right out of here. That's gotta be a chunky, like 14 inch, 14 inch stock brownie, so. All right, we're gonna get this big stock bruiser right out of here. Hold on, bud. We'll get you out of here. We'll get you out of here. Ooh. Dude, that's a sick, that's a sick trout, dude. That's a big one. Let's get him out of here. He's out of here, awesome. All right, so we just got that, um, definitely a stalker for sure based on the fins and the coloration, but that was a 
I would assume a holdover unless they stock him that big out here. He hit a small hare's ear. I switched from a large hare's ear to a smaller one. And boy, did he like that. So that's, um, that's great. I was literally about to give up. I'm really glad I didn't. So we did fish the Willow Emoc for maybe another 30 minutes, and then it did truly start to rain pretty profusely. So that was actually all we had. First impressions of the cat skills, although my fishing experience over the course of this uh, little weekend was a bit underwhelming in terms of the number of fish. Man, I love the cat skills now. I mean, the quality of the water, the quality of the fish, the fact that there's, you know, wild trout in, in so many of these uh, watersheds is pretty incredible. Um, so I'm definitely going to be back. Uh, definitely going to fill up my dry fly box for the spring and head back out here. But that's really all we got for this, uh, this little video. So as always, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.